I'm going to be talking about stress shield and in particular reviewing stress shield. I'm going to look at aspects of plant health. I would like to review types of stresses and their effects on plants as well as how we evaluate uh, plant health effects in the plant and I would like to conclude by looking at some field trial results in Canada showing uh, plant health benefits from Stress Shield. Stress Shield is a neonic insecticide. Primary purpose for using Stress Shield as a cereal seed treatment is to provide control of the insect wireworm. It provides this control by interrupting signals between the nerve cells of the insect without having any harmful effect on the plant. There are two categories of plant stress, abiotic and biotic. Biotic or biological plant stress includes such things as weeds, plant diseases, and insects. A unique aspect of stress shield is that it does have a benefit protecting the plants against abiotic or environmental stresses. Uh, these type of stresses include uh, nutrient deficiencies, uh, weather-related stresses such as heat, drought, and cold, and mechanical injuries such as hail and equipment damage. Stress Shield has been shown to have a benefit on drought stress cereal plants. In drought experiments with Stress Shield on wheat and barley, we observed in barley that uh, leaf length was increased with Stress Shield treated barley versus untreated barley. In harvest wheat, we observed an increase in dry shoot weight with stress shield treated wheat versus non stress shield treated wheat. When stress shield is put on the plant, um, it can have an effect as a chemical signal in the plant. And as such, it can activate genes in the plant, causing them to produce more or less of a specific type of protein. These changes in protein are measured with a machine such as a gene atlas machine so that we can see if more or less of specific plant proteins are formed. Knowing that there are specific genes in the plant that react to stress, we can measure levels of these genes and see what type of effect a product like Stress Shield is having under drought conditions. And we would like to show you some of this work in more detail. Under drought stress, barley plants will produce a protein called dehydrin. Uh, we've been able to measure that under drought stress, barley plants treated with stress shield delay the production of these dehydrin proteins from seven days to 21 days. Another negative effect of drought on plants is a reduction in chlorophyll proteins, but we've been able to show that barley plants treated with stress shield actually maintain more chlorophyll uh, protein versus untreated barley plants. Stress Shield is a unique molecule and when it is put in the plant, it metabolizes to produce a specific compound called um, 6-CNA. And this metabolite is only formed from Stress Shield, not from other neonic insecticides. What are the unique benefits of the 6-CNA metabolite? Well, when a plant is stressed by disease, it will respond by producing PR proteins to defend against that disease. Non-drought stress plants treated with stress shield show an increase in these um, plant stress protein responses. Other neonic insecticides, because they don't produce 6-CNA, do not result in an increase in these disease stress plant proteins. And the reason that we get the unique reaction from 6-CNA is that it mirrors the natural salicylic acid pathway in the plant. 
When we do have plants under stress, we get a greater expression of this PR protein with 6CNA. We do get expression of these proteins with the other neonic insecticides, but still not to the level that we observe with the 6CNA metabolite. So we've looked at laboratory studies that show the effect that stress shields has within the plant. We'll now look at some field trials to show you what type of benefit you can expect from putting stress shield on your crop. In addition to protecting your plant stand, a stress shield will provide a yield increase if you have a wireworm infestation in your field. And what we've observed is that we get a greater yield increase with stress shield than we do with other neonic insecticides. So why do we get an increase in yield with stress shield versus other neonic insecticides? We can observe the stress shield benefit in non-wireworm situations where we see a higher yield response from the stress shield treated crop versus the fungicide only treated crop. This is the added protection that stress shield is able to provide. Just to summarize our discussion on stress shield cereal seed treatment, we get strong protection against wireworms uh, increased plant establishment, an increase in plant biomass, and most importantly, we get an increased yield potential for your crop. Mm -hmm.